He's joining us now from the newsroom with more. Patrick. Lourdes and Ray, good evening. Had he kept his promise to pay that hush money, it could be a different story altogether. But his refusal sent him to prison and today disgraced former House Speaker Dennis Hastert has been ordered by court to pay up. Like his time in office, former Speaker of the House Dennis Hastert's fall from grace was played out at a public stage. Today, the once third most powerful office holder in the land exits without having to display his dirty laundry again, and perhaps in greater detail for all the world to see. Hastert has reached a non-disclosure settlement with an unnamed accuser whose attorney today insisted they were looking forward to going to trial. Frankly, I was looking forward to the trial. Um, you know, I do this for a reason. I love it. Attorney Christy Brown represents James Doe. She says the proposed settlement is confidential, naturally, and subject to she and Hastert's attorney hammering out and submitting an official settlement to Chief Judge Robert Pilmer in writing by next Thursday, September 23rd. Assuming we report back to him um, that the settlement agreement is done and signed, we would submit to him a stipulation to dismiss the case and he would enter it on that date. The alleged victim's lawsuit claims he is seeking money Hastert owes him from a three and a half million dollar pact over the sex abuse James Doe claims took place when he was 14 in the 1970s and when Hastert was a wrestling coach. Previously, Hastert's attorney said that James Doe broke that agreement when he told family and friends he had been violated by Hastert. Had his case gone to trial next week as planned, his identity would have been revealed. Let me say this, it's never over for a victim of childhood se sexual abuse. It's never over. It impacts them for the rest of their lives. WGN legal analyst Paul Lisnick says this really all comes as no surprise. Look, in this case, we already know the judge has said we were going to find out the name of the plaintiff. So that may be something the plaintiff didn't want out. In addition, if you're Denny Hastert, you're probably thinking, I've already been drugged through the ringer with this thing. It's quieted down. Perhaps I'm getting on with my life. And now here we go again with this public hearing. So I think if I'm Denny Hastert, I'm saying, you know what? Let's agree. Let's keep it a non-disclosure and let's get on with our lives. So a surprise to some, not necessarily others, like Paul Lisnick, former Representative Hastert served just over a year in prison after he was sentenced in federal court in 2016. The man at the center of today's settlement was key to the prosecution's case back then. Live in the newsroom, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. All right, Patrick.